What shotgun do I look for when shit hits the fan? It's quite easily the Benelli M4. And not only do I grab my Benelli M4, I grab me a Schmedium t-shirt with a shark being ridden by a Sasquatch. But if you're really gonna defend yourself in that type of scenario, you need a shotgun that can quite easily take on the world. And the Benelli M4 is it. Let's get into why that's the case. With the Benelli M4, these are a very, very special shotgun. And the reason these are is this uses the Argo system, which is auto-regulating gas operated. So what that means with this shotgun compared to most your Benelli shotguns is instead of being just a standard inertia driven shotgun, meaning it uses the recoil from the shotgun itself to actually drive the action. It's a very clean system in your Benelli shotguns and some of your Franchis as well. But then with this one, it actually has gas ports in it, very similar to like how an AR works and it also still has a buffer tube. So the system in general on this is very, very similar to how an AR works. Benelli specifically designed this shotgun to operate in dirty conditions, and this shotgun's also used by United States Marine Corps. So what's nice about it though, is that recoil impulses with this are easy to handle. If you're shooting any type of buckshot or slugs on here, it's not something that's gonna bug you or kick you real hard, and really anybody can shoot this shotgun, you know? I have shot Benelli shotguns, Beretta shotguns, and Franke shotguns nearly my whole life. I am a big, fan of the Italian made shotguns, they really get the semi-auto shotgun right. I have had zero issues with any Benelli, Breda, or Franke shotguns I've used my entire life as far as reliability and getting them dirty. This is no different than anything they make. High quality, the barrel's chrome lined. What I can tell you is that I carry a uh, Remington 870 in my patrol car, and that shotgun, the barrel coating that they use inside there and the how they treat it and everything like that is nothing like the Benelli, Beretta, or Franchi shotguns. It gets dirty, it's hard to scrub out, it's hard to clean. This shotgun, you could shoot 100 rounds through it and wipe it clean, and you're not gonna have powder burns or anything like that inside the barrel. They do a really, really nice job when they chrome line these. This does have a five round tube on it, so you can load five in there, and you can also then obviously drop one in, load it in there, and you're good to go. Easy controls. The only thing I'll say that's probably I wish was bigger on here, like they do in the Breda 1301, is a larger button here for your bolt release. It's it's small. Okay, this doesn't have necessarily an enlarged loading port, but it's big enough that you can load shells in there when you need to. They have the magazine cutoff or magazine release, which basically throws around then into the underneath your lifter there, and then you can put it into the chamber. Easy controls on there. It has an enlarged safety button on here. It's a large triangle button along with your rubberized pistol grip. Easy to get and easy to get to. Uh, turn it back on, obviously it's smaller, which is fine. I see zero issues with that because if you're turning your safety back on, you're generally gonna be in a situation where you're not trying to defend your life. Then we'll come back into the stock on here. It has a pretty standard stock and comb and everything like that drop wise, a rubberized butt pad, and that has sling loops on both the left and right side of the shotgun. So you can sling loop and put it up here in the front, back, and carry this shotgun in a crossbody manner. You can carry it like a regular shotgun if you want to on your shoulder. And then overall too, this is a light shotgun. Um, there are some shotguns that are out there that are auto loaders that are very heavy. There are some manufacturers that make them. They just can't quite get that right, how Benelli, Beretta, and Franchi do in making their shotguns lighter weight. And then finally, let's top off this shotgun. You have a Picatinny rail on here. If you want to put a red dot or something like that on there, you could obviously put a scope on here too if you wanted to. And then you have ghost ring sights on here that are adjustable. And in fact, they're actually even night sights as well. This shotgun out of the box, ready to rip, and it's ready when shit hits the fan and you need to pick a shotgun. The most appealing feature of an auto-loading shotgun in general is its ability to put rounds down range and do it quickly. <sighs> that is just sweet. You know, close range in particular, a Benelli M4 is an absolute monster. You will have a very, very hard time finding a weapon system that at close range will beat this. The 18 and a half inch barrel, let's say maybe even inside a home, or you know, if you, you could use this to hunt with, obviously if you had to, but close range really is where this is gonna shine. If you had to have, you know, even let's say a second weapon if crap hits the fan, this would be an awesome second weapon to have. And just overall, the amount of firepower you could put down range is fantastic. If you're wondering, hey Joe, 
Is that a giant cow skull in your hand? The short answer to that is yes. But this is not any cow skull. This is a one of a kind, unique, hand carved cow skull from Skull Bliss. Skull Bliss is a hand carved animal skull carving company that provides all kinds of fantastic, unique, and one of a kind, but also ethically sourced animal skulls. Like I said earlier, this is the cow skull in their bronze color. And let me tell you, this skull is absolutely beautiful in person. We hung it right on that studio wall behind us, and you're gonna see it in all our future videos. It actually has a light that goes behind it, and it looks super cool. This totally fits our decor and what our channel is kind of all about, but also it can go great in your house and match some of your decor. If you guys wanna get a skull of your own, go on to skullbliss.com. You can go through all their different skulls. There's way too many to list. There's way too many color combinations. You can get anything from a giant longhorn to a small ram, depending on the size that you have available in your home, studio, office, anything you need. If you guys want to get a better price on these skulls, click the link down in our description. It'll take you right to skullbliss.com. You'll get our discount code, and you can let them know we sent you and get yourself a handmade, custom, unique, one-of-a-kind Skull Bliss hand-carved skull. To make this thing shine more, you could take your rounds out. You could throw slugs in here. Right now, I've got two slugs in here, some Winchester Super X, which is the beauty of the Benelli system or auto-loading shotguns in general. Is there's no need to go and use your little baby girl. Reduce recoil rounds. Full power loads in this shotgun are absolutely nothing to handle. They're not hard to shoot. They're easy to handle. And you know what? Sometimes I think some people just need to get out to the range and shoot 12 gauge like it's supposed to be. Get some. 094, 020 split. Guys, this thing just speaks for itself. Woo! Do it from the high ready. One point oh nine with an O twenty one split first shot. 088. I'll have you guys take a look at the target there. Just use this a bird shot today. It's it's high power Winchester Super X bird shot, so it's gonna be very equivalent to your double out buck. But frankly, double out buck is very expensive. You could train easily using some good bird shot and oh Billy here, he wishes he had better days, let's put it that way. You guys have seen how this shotgun can be very, very effective, whether it be slugs from a longer range, bird shot when we're just practicing here buckshot, whatever it be, this shotgun can absolutely fill the role of a shit hits the fan gun. It's everything you need and nothing you don't. Yes, it's an expensive shotgun, but it is worth every single penny. And I can't wait for you guys to check out what we come out with next.